if it's your first time building or even your fifth time building, I think uh, the site can many times sneak up on you. You think it's good or maybe you've even had a good building experience because the site's been dry or, 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 uh, or frozen then it's went really well. But some of the challenges we find is that you can build all year round no matter what. But when you think about even delivering gravel, for instance, there's some gravel companies that won't deliver gravel past a certain date or past a certain temperature. And the reason for that is when they pack that truck full of gravel, it's got moisture in it. And when you lift that, that uh, I'm gonna call it the truck bed up, when it hoists up to dump that gravel, what happens is some of it can actually come out and, and some of it can freeze to the side of the truck and actually tip it over. So there's some real safety risks and hazards. So uh, being strategic around that is good. Uh, another thing, you know, the earlier you can get your site prep done, the better because uh, you get into a wet season, uh, rainy season, even right after it snowed, things like that. Uh, the ground's full of moisture and, and, it, and it can be uh, squishy or soupy. So. Um, if you can get it done earlier, if you plan on building in December, I would say a great time, for instance, uh, would be even August. Uh, that allows the site to also experience some weather, get some rain on it, there's some compacting, and then that allows nature, just the sun, to be able to dry some of that out so that you don't have any capillary action and, uh, and, and potentially have some condensation issues in your building. It's very important that you have a good plan and a good feel for where you're going to put this building. Uh, I recommend talk to an excavator, even uh, uh, connect with uh, other experts in the industry, whatever that might be, so that so they can give you some ideas. You know, sometimes a, a good site might work out for you, but if you move it over here, it could be great. You know, you can you can save money on uh, maybe additional gravel or power going to the building or or backfill, whatever that might be.